This is the best Modern Warfare 2 DLC ever! Why hello there! Hey all, what's up YouTube? This is Orb and we are back and I'm giving you some more Modern Warfare 3 content and I have to say I love this game right now. In the beginning I struggled a lot with this game. I couldn't get the kill streaks I wanted, I couldn't get the games or the scores I wanted that I got, you know, in Modern Warfare 2. And a lot of people had to um, seem seem to have the same problem as I did. They couldn't really do as well as they did in Mother Mother Warfare 2, and that bothered me, man. That bothered me, man. You know, FPS. As I've said this before, FPS is kind of my thing. I'm, I feel like I'm I'm above average in in most of the games I play. And if I join or jump on a FPS shooter, I will actually be. Uh, be good at it very very quickly that's sort of how I look at it and I'm not trying to be cocky or just uh, I don't know promote myself but I feel like that is um, I don't know that is the case with me I, I don't know I put down so much hours into F FPS as they sort of are second nature to me so when I couldn't really get the games I wanted I, I got sad on the inside I started crying weeping I, I talked to people and try to get support from from the bro pile from the KBMR guys from other dudes as well but they were like, give it time, Orb, give it time. I was like, I will do it for you guys, I will do it. So I waited and BAM! Finally it started going, uh, I started playing good again and um, I'm starting to get better and better games as the time goes on. I don't know, perhaps, you know, I learned the maps. Uh, perhaps I've learned the maps, here we go, I've learned the maps. I know a little bit about, you know, what all the perks do, what all the kill streak does and um, you know all that good stuff, and I, I don't know. It sort of takes time to find your your um, your special loadout, your special weapon, and your special um, yeah, your special loadout. Like the weapon that you that you feel most comfortable with, the perks you feel mo most comfortable with. Uh, what strike package to use? Are you going to use the assault, the support, or the specialist package? And uh, I don't know. Perhaps I found my my um, my. Um, I don't know my, my special loadout, so perhaps I'm happy now. I don't know, but I'm playing I'm playing way better than I did before, so I'm happy. But yeah, here we have a game on interchange, which is a uh, a interesting game when you're playing domination because if you have C and B, oh god, holy spawn trap! Look at Scott getting a triple pred right there. That's what he does. Uh, but anyways, this map is kind of kind of annoying, and I saw Volition's Volition's um, uh, gameplay commentary where he talked about. The maps having terrible map design, and that is absolutely true. That is absolutely true, and that was a very, very solid commentary indeed. I will link it down in the description because you guys need to see that. Um, I definitely, I definitely agree with the volition. The uh, the map, I don't know, the map uh, design, the map structure is really weird on most of the maps. I would say the majority of the maps. Uh, I can't really think of any map off the top of my head that is that I really well. Dome is kind of I, I like Dome because it's so you know close and close quarters, intense action. But um, some spawns on that map is really, really weird. When you're standing in certain situations, people can actually spawn behind you like one feet, two feet behind you, which is weird to say the least. But anyways, uh, as I said, we're playing Domination with Interchange. I'm playing with Nick Faggot, uh, aka Nick Fenton, aka my favorite homosexual. We're playing with Scott Fisher, APL Fisher, and I'm getting a Moab. Have I gotten the Moab yet? No? No, I have not gotten the Moab yet, so that's good. I know stuff. But I decided to speed up the gameplay after I get the Moab because it's kind of... I don't know. I, I, I felt like I ran, ran around a lot, but I didn't really get anybody. And as you can see, the final score of this game is like 30... Uh, what is it? 31 and 1? 36 and 1 or something? And boom! There we go. Moab! This is the second Moab that I've gotten. But this is the first Moab that I've actually uh, gotten to call in because there seems to be some weird glitch and I've heard several people um, uh, back me up on this that they can't call in their killstreak. It doesn't have to be a Moab. It can be a, a UAV, a, a sentry gun, whatever. It just doesn't work. But I love this. I love this. Ah. It doesn't kill your own team. It doesn't kill yourself. It only kills the enemy team. I like that a lot. And now the team goes into rage mode calling me a cheater, a hacker, you know, the usual stuff and I get happy. Uh, yeah, here we go. I speed it up or sped up the gameplay because, as you will see, I run around a lot. And uh, I think, yeah, now I head over to the uh, the bridge. Yeah, here we go. So here I get, like, my two first kills in, like, a minute. I think the total time was, like, nine minutes or so, so I wanted to shorten it. So now it's, like, six minutes and ten seconds. But uh, also, I wanted to ask you guys sort of the question of the day. 
that I want you to guys uh, that I want you to guys that I want you guys to put in the comment section below. Uh, do you want me to do like a strategy for how to get the Moab? How I get my Moabs? Uh, Moabs, Moabs. Um, I sort of have a, a, a sort of a strategy outlay. It's sort of different from map to map, but the overall, you know, loadout and stuff is the same. So I don't know if you're interested in that or if you already know from the other commentators. Uh, but yeah, holla at Joe Sweden. Let me know in the comments below. And uh, yeah, now as uh, as I told you before, interchange domination. Yeah, now there's now they're trapped at A. And if if you want if you want to have them trapped at A, just don't push too far. I, I push forward a little bit to get those extra kills, but if you just keep them there, they will just spawn inside that corner and you will just rape them. Especially if somebody gets an AC-130 or Predators, oh my god, you will rape them all. You don't smell shit, cause you're bad. Oh, okay, good stuff. Anyways, there we go, final score of... Holla at Joe Swede, final score is 36 with one assist, 36 kills, one assist, and one death. So there we go, hope you enjoyed that. Please put the comments in the comment section below. I don't know where you would put them otherwise, but, you know, good stuff. And, yeah, um, have an awesome day. I will see you next time. Bye!